love how everything's walkable in this town. final resting place. Now it's just where her body is buried. Guess I'll be buried here soon. This is home to neither of us. Just the place for others to come and remember what they used to know. Sorry it's been so long, Julia. Okay. I, I don't know. I was so drunk. We both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, like your floating corpse. What? Forget it. I know I should go, but she might come back. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Just leave it to me.
Excuse me, but, uh, did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. Pretty sure it was on the shoreline. know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. I think it ended up in the bushes over there. <sighs> it's too dark in these bushes. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Okay. Yep, still a whole lot of nothing. I don't know if it's important, but this is all you find. River, find out how she died. I better tell Joy. Her body washed up on shore, so she was murdered up river. Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Oh, genius. It'd be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. Wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaky girl wouldn't leave me alone. It's her. She's the one in the photo. <sighs> Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with... Did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about that. A small favor. Give her a chance. Hey, she can help all of us. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. What happened to Sophia? No, I haven't caught her yet. And why are you talking to me?
can't be that hard. How did you get over here? Whose idea was this? At least it'll make a good story later. I mean, how much can it weigh? <clears throat> Should have brought a crowbar. Hi, kid. Who was the hero? My great grandfather. I found a bunch of his things from the war in the attic. I even had a drink from his flask. No one in the family ever talks about him, though. I think it's because of his gory stories of the war. It must have been great to stick someone with a bayonet or paint a wall with someone's brains. Trust me, kid. Stuff like that stays with you forever. You only find yourself wishing to forget. So what? He was a hero. I'd do anything to be remembered like that. Instead, people think I'm a coward who committed suicide. I'm sorry, kid. I didn't do it. I don't know how it happened, but I'm no coward. And if I were still alive, I'd slit the throat of every person who ever called me one. Okay, okay, touchy subject. I get it. Maybe I can help. Damn it. What's wrong with this thing? What do you mean? It seems to be doing its job just fine. Its job is to let people know who I was, and I was not like this. Not this filthy. I was important and rich and clean. I knew the importance of keeping up appearances, which is why this just won't do. It needs to look better than all the others. Not like the rest of these freaks. You'd be surprised. Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Oh, good question. Did everyone hear that? This young hey, lady just asked if this you happened a problem? before or after the famous You could trials. say that. I used to be a butcher a before this before. bitch got a bug so up her ass and started snooping around. Old. People used to okay. come from miles I'm away to buy a from me. Now. I had more so awards than a wall space to hang on. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. I left that up to my pigs. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life, then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect their flavor. I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. Whose hand is that? Ah, yes. That was just a sacrifice in the name of science. A flesh sacrifice? Sounds more like voodoo than science. Some may call it that, but they forget the true purpose of science. To understand the world around us and all the forces that govern it. Just because the research may be 
unsavory at times doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye. Besides, now I've got plenty of specimens to work with. You experimented on these people? Most of them are as good as dead anyway. I save the ones I can. The rest are being put to good use. Those were people, not guinea pigs. You're right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm quite busy. Look, I'm on your side. I just want to ask you a few questions. every friggin' ghost teleport but me. I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. Just hold on, will ya? This is Travis the Ghost Trapper, and we are in Salem, Massachusetts. Now Travis, don't you think that's a little over the top? Okay, Captain. Uh, Dwayne, how many times have I told you who actually watches this show? People will laugh. Mm. Oh, hell. People come to the show for over the top. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Just start again. All right, roll. It. Travis the Trapper here, and we're in sync. Now, as you know, since there's such a violent history to this place, there's likely to be a great deal of paranormal activity. What? What was that? Gotta sound more tough on this take. There's some being. Some spirit. Hello? Are you trying to communicate with us? Wait! It's over there now! This is nowhere near over. So many deaths, but likely many more yet to come. I can't help but believe this graveyard will only get more full. Picked a quiet place to study. Did you fall for it too? When are they gonna let me out of here? I'm gonna kill those frat guys once I get out. Well, when was the last time you tried just walking out? Something tells me it'll be easier than you remember. Oh yeah? How's that? 
The door doesn't open from the inside, genius. You'll figure it out. Whatever, old man. I'll figure it out myself. Stop. I'm on your side. I'm trying to figure out who killed you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a cop. My God, you... You're not trying to escape me. You want me to see something? What, what, what did he mean by contract? No. no. This is the memory of your murder. You're too young. You shouldn't see this.
He drew on you. His symbol. It must have meant something. I heard screams and it's good that you're okay. Well, I'm still dead. Oh, you found something. Yeah, I did. Bell Killer drowned the girl in the lake, let her body float down the river. My mother was right. This is a Bell Killer case. Did you find anything about my mom? Memory residue or something? Sorry, kid. And it's a good thing you didn't see what he did to the girl. This guy is. He's sadistic. One weird thing is that he confronted the girl about a contract before he offed her. A contract? I don't think I've seen anything about a contract. Wait, wait, wait. Another case possible Bell Killer survivor Iris Campbell. Diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, incoherent ramblings about persecution, and a contract. Again. And where does it say where she is? Um, it just says Lux Eterna. Is there a place? Yeah. Lux Eterna is a mental hospital. Of course it is. <sighs> okay, ready to go? Uh, actually, um, go on ahead. I, uh, I need to visit someone here. Oh. Guess I'll meet you at the hospital. Worst nightmare than this. Don't worry, bro. She already knows. 